Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Leon Bailey starts with Coutinho out wide. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Plenty of support here. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Celebrating today from all of your friends and family. Luis Sinisterra. Brendan Aronson. And that was a very fine read. Good visualization and execution. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Bamford. He's going forward well here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ollie Watkins. Bamford. Now they stop them in their tracks. Ollie Watkins. What can they do from here? That'll be a Leeds United throw in. Harrison. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And intercepted it. Watkins. And now Coutinho, showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Can they convert? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Mark Rocca. Jack Harrison has it. Bamford. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Adams. Will he finish? There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why he's upset. He got something on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's frustrating for a keeper.
And the first half is in the history books now here at Villa Park. Mother Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Christensen. Robin Koch. On the ball, Mark Rocca. Luis Sinistera. And Christensen has it. Good movement. Bamford. Rodrigo. And a chance to level it. Can they keep it out? Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. Bamford. And they need to get tighter. But they took care of the situation defensively. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Opportunity here. And the post gets in the way. Not to be. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Well, as you can see, Leeds have had the majority of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. No doubt, they go to work moving it around again. The end product just wasn't there. Fifteen minutes left for play. Douglas Luiz. Bubakar Kamara and the emphasis is on creativity he read the situation defensively and did his job Rodrigo now options are plenty they are making headway but really they need a goal with time not on their side well nothing he could really do based on the cross And he's won the ball. Really bright looking attack. <laughs> and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Well, you can absolutely sense. And there goes the whistle for full time. The Villa fans will leave the stadium happy on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, as you can see, our cameras are lingering on Leon Bailey. You can